Okay. Wow, Baruch Hashem, rest of the front in Hebron. <laughs> and we have Sasha here, Baruch Hashem, and, uh, and the Shachar, and Dov, and wow, Baruch Hashem. What a, what a beautiful, beautiful minion we had. What a schus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable schus to be by you. And the Emois of Kedosh. Wow, 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 wow. All I can say is, everyone, please join us. <laughs> All right, let's see. So uh, we're we're in the middle of of Lekuti Alachas Bo Hashem Hilchas Hashkama Sabayka Dalid, and uh, we're in the middle of Dalid. We're up to the part where it says Aval Ani Batua. You see that everyone has a place. Aval Ani Batua. You see it? You got it? Everyone has a place. Okay, let's get started. So we, were, so we were talking, yeah, we were discussing yesterday, just to, to, to re- review, we were discussing yesterday the idea of, of the Shibisi Hashem, the Nekdi Summit, the recognition of Hashem is always with me wherever I go, and how do I, how do I, how do I make that part of me? How do I make that part of me, and how do I, am I cognizant of that all the time? How do I do that? So we said that we do that but with the Simcha, and we have simcha in what we're doing. And right? we need to always infuse simcha into our mitzvahs. Right? Like to this morning, we finished the, the, the minion over here. We had a beautiful recut. That's the way to do it. Right? That's simple. You need simcha. And how do you finish off? Like we finish davening. So you finish off the tefillah with a simcha. And that simcha really, it, it, it puts the, the seal on to it. And it really gives it, it sends it to where it has to go. It's unbelievable. And then we said like this, the idea of Afisari Yishkan Leveta, the fact that the person's that, that the that the person's goof, his body, his flesh, can also have the betochen in it. Fascinating concept, right? That that not only our minds, our hearts can uh, perceive the Vaishnav, but also our body, the the regular the regular our, our goof, our arms, our legs, our body, the torso of the body can perceive the Vaishnav. Fascinating concept. And, and then we were saying that if that's the case, so then Hakadosh Baruch Hu will never abandon us to the Shalom. We should stay away, Chas to Shalom, from the from the Chachmas Chitzonius, right? And we said the Chachmas Chitzonius are the are the are the are the, are the, are the, the thing that'll draw away this this concept of Shemisi Hashem the Negdi Seven, because it just tells you they, 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 they may say that there's Hashem, but Hashem is a thing of the past. Hashem is not now. That's what they say. Chalila v'Chas, right? So today we say. I am, I believe, I know as I won't, Hashem won't send my nefesh, which is the lower realm of our Nisham, we said, right? From my nefesh, which is part connected to the guf, right? Uh, it's connected to the guf, it won't send me to the, to the, to the pit, to the, to the grave, to the pit. Look at this. Look at this. I wasn't given my chesed, Literally, to see darkness, to see this chaslicha, why it was all the chesed. Zev bechinas Rav Yitzchak Amar ha'isay v'tikunay shemizchusay v'kaiyche ani v'tua. Basically, in other words, if I have, if I have, uh, let's see what's he saying here. Yeah? Rabbi Yitzchak Amar ha'isay v'tikunay. What? Rabbi Yitzchak Amar ha'isay v'tikunay. The Rabbi, oh, because we're talking about the Rabbi, right? The whole idea of lesson thirty. Lesson 30 is talking about the connection that we have to the tzaddik. So if we have a connection to a Rebbe at tzaddik that can help us, that can help us to learn the concept and to 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 to, to bring this concept into us. That Shavisi Hashem the Nedi Summit, that the Rabbi Nishlam is mamish with me. Kilai Sitin Chasidicha Shu Rabbi at tzaddik Eves. That's the Rebbe at tzaddik that can teach me. In other words, how are you going to do this? How are we going to ever do this to, 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 to take this in? That we can mamish be, that we can mamish be people that can perceive the Rabbi Islam and everything that we do, everywhere we are, that are, that are even our arms, our fingers, our toes. We'll say, you need a Rebbe. You need the Rebbe to do that. He likes, Leroy's Shachas, Kedei Shehu Lo Yira Shachas, you shouldn't see the darkness, Shalom Yitzhak, Leroy's, Lestaka Lasham, the Chol Ace. Allah to lift us up from all of those dark from all the darkness. Because we said like this, the Rebbe, the, the, the tzaddik does two things. shamata, right? We know that, right? shamata. If you search up the shamayim, Akadish Baruch was there. Right? The Rebbe teaches a, a, a person that's that's doing the right thing. 
he'll teach the person that he has to learn more, he has to get better. It, you can't be satisfied with the level that you're on. If you don't have a Rebbe, right? If you don't have a, a Tzaddik that you're connected to, you're not connected to a Rebbe. So then you may think that you're on the right level, I'm doing everything, I'm cruising along, and everything's okay. But the Rebbe is going to come, the Rebbe is going to come, and the Rebbe is going to teach us that, no, wait a second, you think you're doing good. He'll show you that there's so much, so much more you need to learn. There's so much more that you have to be involved in. And that's what we need. And then the other, the other part is that the same idea, if, if the person finds him uh, 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 that he's in, a, in the Shol Tachtiyas, so the Rebbe will show him that also the Rebbe Nishlam is there also. Right? In other words, a Kodesh Baruch no matter where we are, if, 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 and, the two, the, and that's what you need the tzaddik for, to teach us this concept. And even if a per, whatever person is doing the right thing, it, 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 it doesn't matter because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is everybody teaches them that he has to get better. But if someone Chashom, is not doing well, the Rebbe will teach him that even HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there. Meloi Chalaretz Kivoyde, Hashem's covet is everywhere. And I'll teach him that even we, in your place that you are, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is even found over there. Fascinating. Yeah, you want to say something, David? Yeah, so when he talks about not abandoning the nefesh, is he talking about the tzaddik's nefesh? Or no, our nefesh. nefesh. I, my nefesh won't be abandoned because I have the tzaddik that helped me, to teach me that Hashem is there. Because if I didn't know that Hashem is there, then my nefesh would be abandoned. Yeah, because if I would be in the, in the shawl, if I would be in the grave, and the shachas in the darkness, the vada yiat tzaddik rabbi emes mistakel shav. The tzaddik, the rebbe, will look at me over there. He'll find me over there. In other words, when we when we when we study when we study the teachings of Rabbi Nachman, which is what we're doing, right? With Nussin's writings, everything he's teaching <coughs> us over here, we're learning in the Kuti Alok is all based on the lessons of Rabbi Nachman. So you know, like we said last time, that that the same way when a person is not well. He if, he, if he, if he has a minor, a minor ailment, he has a cold or something, so you can go to any doctor. You don't need the, you don't need a big doctor. But if the person has has to show him something serious, he needs a very big doctor. So too, there's a, the, is the Rebbe, is the example for the Rebbe, the Rebbe, you need a bigger Rebbe if you have bigger spiritual problems, right? So then therefore, so we're saying, and when we're connected to the tzaddikim, especially to the tzaddik Rabbi Nachman, and when we're connected by his teachings, and that's how we connect to the tzaddikim, by, our, by the teachings of the tzaddik. So even if I find myself in a low place, the, my Rebbe will know that I'm there, the Rebbe knows I'm there, the Rebbe will help me and put the message in my heart that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there with you and give me an idea of tshuva, you know, no matter where I may find myself. See what he says? The tzaddik, the Rebbe, will look over there. The tzaddik, the Rebbe, will go into that dark place. He doesn't care. It'll be a big tzar for the Rebbe to see that. But the Rebbe will do that. The Rebbe, Rebbe will do that. You know, we had the parasha with the Ari Miklat, right? So the, the halacha was that a Rebbe... When, when someone killed someone inadvertently, they had to run off to the Ari Mikla, right? That was the thing, right? You made a mistake, right? You were the, Rashi gives the example, you were, he was on a, you, someone was working on a ladder, and then uh, he was working with a hammer. A guy walked underneath, the hammer fell, it hit him, the guy died. Now the guy, uh, of course, on the ladder had no intention to kill the guy there, right? When he runs, he has to run now to the, one of the six cities of refuge, right? He has to go to any of those cities of refuge, his Rebbe has to go with him. His Rebbe goes there with him. Why does the Rebbe have to go there with him? Because he says he has to live there like normal. How can he live there like normal if he doesn't have his Rebbe? How can he live there as normal, right? So then the question is asked, the question is, so how come, what about a Chavar Toiv? What about a Chavar Toiv? How come it doesn't say, how come Chazal don't tell us he has to, his good friend has to go with him too? So the answer is, if, if the Torah has to tell the friend that you have to go with him, that's no friend. <laughs> That's no friend. The Kiddush is that the Rebbe has to go. That's what I, I, I wanted to connect it to over here like this. So the Rebbe, you know, is that the person finds himself in a place of doom, the Rebbe will go to the Rebbe, will teach him that Hashem is with you. Don't worry about it. This is all from your ticket on Hashem or whatever's going on. That's why this thing had to happen. But because again, what did Rashi say? And that same Rashi that we're quoting over here, Rashi says, it's a Rashi, that what happened in the past, in the past Gilgal, 
in a past Gilgal, in a past uh, re reincarnation, right? A past, uh, how do you say that in English? Right, 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 the past generation that, that, that he was there. It was, must have been that this person killed the other person inadvertently. So now to, to settle the score, this is what had to be done. Again, these are Hashem's Cheshbanish, we don't understand. Okay, we got, we got, we got, we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. Rabbi Nachman says, listen, I'll just say like this, Rabbi Nachman says, in Sikha Saran, when we go up to Shemayim, and they're gonna show us, you know, uh, you know, you did this and that, and the other thing, right? right? And they're gonna say to you, well, you know, you can go back into the world and we'll, we'll give you a nice mishpach and I'll show you. I'll show you in Shemayim, I'll show you in the Shema. Look, we'll put you in this nice family, and, and it'll be really good for you. Go. Rabbi Nachman says, don't go. It's a ploy. Don't take it. He says, if you're, when you're in Shemayim, they show you, they, they say, you can, otherwise you're going to have to go to Gehenna. Rabbi Nachman says, go to the Gehenna. Go to the Gehenna. Why? Because you're going to go back into the world again, and who knows how you're going to get mixed up again in the world, and who knows how much trouble you're going to get yourself into. Amazing idea. Amazing concept. So take your hand and over going back. Ex exactly. Yeah, how do you know exactly. you're not going to go back after you You say, what? How do you know you're not going to go back after you No, because the hand fixes the problem. Hand fixes the problem. That's what the, that's your thing. But the, but then we know where Rabbi Nachman promises us that if the, when you say, you go to go, you say, you say the thinking slowly, you put the product, even by the payers will pull us out of the. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We listen, we, we, this is a Muna Sadiqin. That's what we have to have. That's what we have to have. But look at these beautiful words. He's working in the, the He's working on my Tikkun. He's working on my Tikkun all the time. With his merit. And the merit that Sadiq, I believe, I believe that I'm going to be okay. In the schluss of my Rebbe, in the schluss of my the tzaddik that I'm connected to, I believe I'm he loy sazem nafshi l'shol. He should loy sitein chasidicha shehu at tzaddik. The chesed, the tzaddik is the chesed. Avram Avinu, right? Look where we are. Oyel Avram Avinu. Oh wow, 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 wow! Is the chesed true at tzaddik? Yemes liroy shachas to show us the shachas. So we said that shachas is 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 a. Uh, is is uh, is the doom, right? Is doom, but but we also said chakras in in that doom, in that doom, the tzaddik will show you that Hashem is there with you, and if Rabbi Nishlam is with us, what better simple can a yid have? And that's why it's such an important thing that we need today. We need it today more than ever to know that Mama Shivisi Hashem, I don't go anywhere without you, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, being there with me. Um, the most amazing concept. Anyone have any comments, questions? No? Wow. David, you okay? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Sasha? Good? Okay. They, uh, okay, now we finish off the, 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 the uh, Torah uh, letter. Dalit. Let me know. Teach me the Oyrechayim. What's Oyrechayim? The ways of life. Teach me the right ways of life. Teach me the right ways. Slave of is his panecha. Right? Show me the right way to come to the true life. What's the true life? A Torah life. Knowing our Kaddish Baruch Hu, Knowing the Rabbi Nishlam is there with you. This is what a true life is. That's a true life. Living our life and, and making our life count. What's making our life count? We, we, we engage in, in, in knowing that no matter where I am and my entire day, can be in can be a vaydis Hashem. No matter what I'm doing, can be part of my serving the Rabbi Nishlo, No matter what I'm doing, whether I'm making a phone call for business, whether I'm talking to to, to, to my children, whether I'm talking to my wife, whatever I'm doing, can be part of can be part of my avodas Hashem. If I recognize Shemisi Hashem in Negdi Seven, and that's the truth. That's Chayev Amitim. Laham shechias for lahachias as bechinas hamalchus chokhma tato. To lift up our Chochmah Tata. What's the Chochmah Tata? All the mundane, the, the things that we deal with, the knowledge that we have in this world, how to lift that up, to be Oyrechayim. The simple things of this world, to lift them up. Nothing is Pashat. To understand everything is connected to our Kaddish Baruch. Shua Yedei Ara Panem Shepesholet Shugalim. That's the Ara Panem of the Shalosh Shugalim. Why the Shalosh Shugalim? We said, we'll just finish saying it one more time. The Shalosh Shugalim is the time that we show the most simcha. We have the most joy. 
the whole the whole idea of the shalosh of Gogol is what the samachta v'chagecha vayisa ach sabeya. That's the whole point of the shalosh of Gogol, correct? Well. And then what's the what's the greatest fortification we could have against anything against against the, the eight Sahara, against not knowing shivisi Hashem Nezer? Is atzvus, but if I have simcha, we said simcha is the ara upon him. Why is it the ara upon him? Because 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 the shalach regalim, when we are so happy that Hakadosh Baruch Hu commanded us to fulfill his his uh, shalach regalim, and then I am doing that, it makes Hakadosh Baruch Hu kibiyachol so happy. Hashem is so happy that that, that, that oh, Hakadosh Baruch Hu is so is so happy. Uh, the Rebbeinu Shlom is so so happy that we that we are able to be the Sameach in his uh, in his in his uh, 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 shalosh regalim. Via doing that, that Kodesh Baruch Hu turns around and gives us the Ar upon him. He shines his light on us. And the Rebbe explains it when he shines his light on us. What does that mean? Actually, Hakadosh Baruch Hu will take care of us and make sure everything that we need is taken care. Of. Amazing. What we need, what, if we if we need if we need help. If we need the, you know, nachas from children, if we need, if we need parnasa, whatever the case may be, that we have simcha, our Kodesh Baruch Hu sees that when we have joy in any mitzvah that we do, when we put on our tefillin, when we put on our, when we're davening, and we have a joy in our davening, then that Kodesh Baruch Hu again will show us the Yara Pandem. It's most pronounced on the Shalosh Regalim, on the three, on the three main holidays. It's most pronounced. Okay, Shu Bechina Simchas Haleiv, that's the Simcha Lay. We said that the Shalosh Regalim is the lave of the Shana, right? The Shalosh Regalim is the lave, is the heart of the year. That's where the year gets its, uh, it, it, the heart beats from the Shalosh Regalim, from the Simcha of the Shalosh Regalim. Bechina Saibis Samachas is Panecha. We'll be able to, Saibis, uh, 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 we'll be able to, to, to uh, 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 how would you say, Sova? I'll, satisfied. I'll feel, I'll feel the satiety. I'll feel be satiated by the simchas as panecha from a kodesh baruch hu's pun that he shows to us. And how might you do that through having a tzaddik like these teachings that we're learning from Rav Nosson? How would we know these things? How would we know these 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 concepts over here? How I can get at the ar the, the ar panecha? How can I get that from a kodesh baruch hu? If I have a, if I understand the teachings, no matter where I am, no matter where I find myself. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there with me. It doesn't matter if I find myself in a great place, I have to know I can't go too far. I have to know I can't go learn things that I'm not supposed to learn. I can't learn necessarily deep, things deep in Kabbalah that, I'm not, that I'm, not, I'm, I'm not permitted to learn. I don't do that. I, have to, I know that. I know my boundary. But I also have to know that if I find myself in the pits, if I find myself down there, and connected to the tzaddik, the tzaddik will give me the, the, the feeling that I have to come back to the Rabbi Nishlam, and the Mitz Hashem, he will come back to the Rabbi Nishlam. We have a few more minutes? If, if, if you do, you get yeah, a Yeah, 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 we have a few more, we have a few, yeah. So let's, so let's, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do one more, let's do one more paragraph, okay? Now, hey. Ezeh bechin es kimas chatzais. This is the idea of kimas chatzais, Baruch Hashem, who was like to do that, Right, I think we were right today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hashem. We have to strengthen this so much so to get up at Chatzoy Slaylam. Why again? We're talking about the Sholosh Regalim, right? See this? We're talking about the. What was the Sholosh Regalim? We would come to the base of Migdash and we would see the grandeur of the base of Migdash would bring us the biggest Simcha. So now when we, when we understand that, now we have to understand when we say the Tikkun Chatzoy, what am I missing? I don't feel that Simcha always. I don't see that. I don't see the Rabbi Nishlodim so like that. That's the way to lift up the Malchus of Hashem. Why? Because Hakadosh Baruch Hu's Malchus was most pronounced in this world. Where in the Beis Hamikdash, Menachit Sainim Baklipas, the Klipas and the Chitzayim, like we explained, it, 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 they try to steal the Malchus of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. But when we can be Ms. Abel on the Churban Beis Hamikdash, when we can show the Rabbi Nishlan that we really care and we 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 want to bring back his Malchus. That's the best way to, 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 to have the, the other side regurgitate, give back what, 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 they, what they took, that, was, that they, they, they stole from us. Because 
when we, when we uh, uh, are misabba, when we mourn over the destruction of the base of Middash, it's as if we're building the base of Middash. We're building the bricks, we're putting another brick, another brick, another brick. And then we're going to see a Metz Hashem. Hashem is going to show us that beautiful edifice that we were building over the years, over the last uh, almost 2,000 years. It's a 2,000 years since the Corbin? It's about 2,000 years now. It's about 2,000 years. Yeah, now. Whatever it's close, it's 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 close to two thousand years. All those yidden that died, that that we're doing, this building is going to be something magnificent that we never saw. We're going to see this soon. It's, we're we're building it each time. Each time we do this, look what it says. It's as if I'm working on building the base of Mishnah. Whoever is Mishnah, whoever feels the, the, the loss of the base of Mishnah. And again, we also learn that it's also the loss of the tzaddikim, that we don't have the tzaddikim today like we had of, 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 yesterday, of yesteryear. The great, the great tzaddikim. And that's the, and, and, and the Hazal tell us that even the, the, the Misa of a tzaddik is worse, is double worse than the base of Mishnah. Why? Because if you have the tzaddik in your life, so then the tzaddik will teach us, no matter where, whatever situation I'm in, they'll bring us me closer to our Kaddish Baruch But if the tzaddik leaves the world, so then I don't have that. But both Hashem, we have the teachings of the tzaddikim, and we can connect to the teachings of the tzaddikim. That's how I can draw upon myself the kedusha, the sanctity of the of the of the holy base of the Shemeshav Ikka Ara upon him. That's where the Ikka Ara upon him is. That the Kaddish Baruch Hu's countenance, his light, his light shone sh- shine the greatest in the base of Migdash. Shemam Chicha Mishalich we go where 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 we when we came there with that Simcha, the Ara upon him was so so pronounced. It was so very vivid. That was the whole point. We went to the base of Mikdash to be Makabal or upon him, to get that countenance, the light of the Rabbi but that's the main light of the base of Mikdash is what? That I can get the R upon him from HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the basement. That's why we have to get up in Chatzais. And we'll say one more time, Chatzais. So if you can't get up in Chatzais, so an hour after Chatzais, two hours, three hours after Chatzais, but at least get up before before the Alois HaShachar so you can be the one to, that, 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 that can... Uh, that can wake up the morning. <speaking in Hebrew> to draw your life, your 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 your, your, your ruchnius from there. Me'or aponim shemayesham. So Hakadosh Baruch Hu is a chiddush. Hakadosh Baruch Hu every day shines his light, which is which we said is connected to the base of Migdash. Hakadosh Baruch Hu's light is connected to the base of Migdash. It's shown the greatest in the base of Migdash. So now it says, when, when I'm working on being Ms. Abel on the base of Migdash, it's as if I'm building the base of Migdash. So, so when we come at night and we get up and say the Tik in Chatzais, we get, we get the, a, a preview of this, of the Ara Panim that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives to us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is so grateful when we're Meshutet, that we, when we partner up with him on the, on the Churban base of Migdash, that it's the greatest thing. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives again, he gives, he gives us his Ara Panim. The Hachiyos, the Hachiyos, the Hachiyos, to give life to the Malchus. Again, we take it back from the other side. The Hachiyos, Chachma, Tata, Kedei Liyizkais, La Asogis and Likus, in order to for us to merit to have Asogis and Likus. Bezeh Hashem Askiven Al Aliyas Regalim B'Tikim Chatzais. Now we understand why we talk about the Aliyas Regal on Tikim Chatzais. Now it makes sense. For Mizma Ka'ayel Tarim. Right? When we say that's it, so we're talking about that's talking about. If you look at the parish on that, they see the mitzvah, the stuff. I'll show you. It's talking about why it's talking about the aliyah saregya going up to the base of mikdash. Kamei shekasim ain't la eskira. He ever besach adadim ad base elikim. I can come to the base elikim. Shu ma shehayu oylem beregel the base of mikdash. That we went up to the base of mikdash. Could we imagine the sight? We have over here in the, in the, in the Kush, we have Derech Avot, right? Could you imagine how uh, the, the, the thousands of Yidin coming from, from all over, and then there are those cross roads, and the, the Simcha on the road, and then they were walking. Could you just imagine what that was? 
Could you imagine they were coming with their kids and they would bring their, their bikurim, the beautiful, fresh, the new fruits, and they would bring their, the, you know, they would bring their, 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 the animals, the firstborn, and they would bring everything, and they were going with such a simcha. Wow. Come on, Shepherish Rashi Shah. Is that the Kinah Shalish Pamim, Shalish Pamim, Pamim? Shalish Pamim, three times we had the Pamim, the Ah Pamim, the three, the, the Shalish Regalim. Shemaskim Shah. now let's just finish off the hey and then we'll end okay balkin so we can last like with Torah v'chatzai therefore we have to be Isaac in Torah at chatzai so in other words we say the Tikkun chatzai and then learn some form of Torah learn something we learned that the best thing to learn is to learn halacha. Why? Because halacha clarifies the mind, opens up the, the pathways of the mind, so I can have a clear mind, and that's the best thing. He called ois for ois shel Every single letter that we learn of Torah, kulam heim shiurim b'tzimtzumim kedoshim. They are they are the righteousness. They they are they are tzimtzum. It, it is a constriction in them. Of holiness, lahasigil ekus his baruch ha'idezer to attain a kaddish baruch to 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 understand the rabbeinu shalom through the words of the Torah. The words of the Torah are filled with light, filled mamish with light. Because when we understand that each word is the devar Hashem, every single word of the Torah, wow. Kamaisha kotsur shemay yadei a Torah shoyiskim oz balayla, and especially if I could learn Torah at night. That time of the night when it's really it's, it's coming to the morning. I get the chesed, I get that little the 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 the, 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 the uh, I don't know. There's no real way to translate chud shal chesed. Okay, there's no. It's a, it's a chud shal chesed. You get the chud shal chesed during the day. You see the light of the. You, you see the the the, the, the mamish, You see the chesed of Hashem. You see, it's Oilam Chesed Yibana. Yimamish feel. Yimamish feel the Chesed Mitzvah. We're going to experience that today. Because look what we were able to accomplish. Baruch Hashem. Kamei Shama B'Sein Nuzal. Ayyadei HaChesed Hazeh. Through this Chesed. Koytrim B'Choyistin. Es HaMalchus Abayin and Oisai. We can cut away, we can we can chop away from the malchus that they, they took from us. Ubayin and I say we can build it bishlemis by Aliyah Sashaka when by Aloy Sashaka when I get up and I'm buying the Aloy Sashaka between us, the Huchan, the Chesed Kise, I'll prepare the Chesed the, 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 with Chesed the Kise of Hashem. What's the Kise of Hashem? The Kisei of Hashem in this world is the base of Midrash. That's why Kodesh Baruch Hu, his Kisei in this world is. But tell you right now, the move of Kavanas, and that's the, the, the greatest idea that I think in Mitz Hashem, that why we should supposed to get up at Chatzos. To understand that we need to always have a Rebbe. And the Rebbe will teach us the idea no matter where we are, no matter where we are, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is found over there. You can connect to the Rebbe Hashem no matter where you are. And this is Mamish, one of the greatest teachings that we could have to give us simcha through every single day, knowing that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with us. Shkayim.